A man from Manchester is beginning a 25-year jail sentence after EncroChat messages revealed his involvement in sourcing guns and drug dealing. Umayya Zahir provided police with a crucial breakthrough as they were able to find the same clothes he'd been wearing on the picture at his home. The Louis Vuitton t-shirt, grey top, trousers and trainers were all recovered by police. His close ally, Bill Alkal from Didsbury, also posed with the deadly machine gun. Khan, who worked for a property management company, was locked more than 10 years. Mr Justice Kirtle Zahir, the photograph of you holding the AK-47 was circulated to associates as a sign of your power. Mr Khan celebrated with jubilant messages boasting of the firepower of the weapons and the prestige and thrills they bought. EncroChat messages revealed how Khan, known as Legend Killer on the network, revelled in possessing the deadly machine gun. Zahir and Khan were sentenced alongside five other men for firearms and drug offences revealed by the law enforcement hack of the secretive EncroChat network, which was a WhatsApp for criminals. Crimes uncovered including the revealing of a plot to hit back after two men were shot in Salford, plots to purchase terrifying weapons including an AK-47 and an Uzi submachine gun, as well as large-scale drug dealing. Brandon Morris, 24, and Jordan Waring, 23, were both shot during an incident in Kersal in April 2020. They sought the help of Zahir to source a gun and seek retribution. Zahir, was 34, said they would do him when they discovered where the alleged gunman was. This kid's fucked now, he said. Oh yeah, he's a dead man, Waring replied. Zahir sent more a list of firearms available for sale, including two AK-47s and an Uzi. Yeah, nice bro, this kid needs it more, who had been shot in the arm, replied. Zahir said, he will get bro, just let him get comfortable a bit, we will sneak up on him. Moore and Waring were later arrested and the plan came to nothing. Their lawyers claimed the message was exaggerated and showed bravado, but the judge said, the three of you at once planned revenge. The plan was serious, it was not bravado. It was as real as the wound to your arm, he told Moore. Zahir was also involved in helping brokering deals to sell terrifying weapons to other criminals. He arranged a £37,000 deal to sell an Uzi and Scorpion submachine guns as well as pistols to Khan. An electrician, Robert Brazendale, is 34, who worked with Zahir and acted as a courier and driver, handed over the guns in a shop car park in Warrington in exchange for the cash which was delivered by the courier, Hitesh Patel. Patel then drove the weapons to London, where they were later recovered by police. Khan himself picked up an AK-47, which Patel had been due to collect but couldn't, as the weapons could not fit in his car. He took it to his uncle's premises in Warrington, which was a business where he and Zahir posed for pictures. About a week later, police raided the site and found the AK-47 hidden in a roof void. Khan sent a message to Zahir, bro, they found it. Make zero sense, but the NCA have that AK, he added. The pair were arrested the following days. The arrest and conviction of these defendants has probably prevented at least serious violence and disrupted the criminal activities of a criminal gang, the judge said. Despite his crimes, the judge accepted there was another side to Zahir. He said, you're not only a ruthless gangster, you're a good family man and you do a lot of fundraisers and charitable causes. I have read your letter to the court apologising for your criminal behaviour and for letting down your family, employer and community. Zahir, Moore and Waring pleaded guilty to conspiracy to possess firearms or ammunition with intent to endanger life. Zahir pleaded guilty to a separate conspiracy of possessing firearms and ammunition with intent to endanger life, as did Khan, alongside Patel. Brazendale of Warrington admitted conspiring to transferring prohibited weapons. Zahir and another man, Lewis Coleman, also admitted drug offences and both pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine. So Zahir was jailed for 25 years, Moore received 11 years and 5 months, Waring was sentenced to 8 years and 7 months, while Coleman was locked up for 6 years and 9 months. Brazendale was sentenced to 11 years and 3 months, Khan to 10 years and 8 months and Patel received 7 years and 5 months. After the hearing, Neil Gardner, the NCE operations manager, said, The weapons we took off the streets and out of the crime group's sand were some of the most lethal around with a truly devastating capability. In seizing these weapons, which are capable of firing multiple rounds per second, we have saved lives and protected the public. DC Stephen Walker of Great Manchester Police Salford's organised crime unit said, This group of men undoubtedly posed as a significant threat to the city of Salford and it's right that they now spend the majority of their adult years behind bars. The weapons that they were in possession of and the conspiracy they were planning could have proved to be a lethal combination 
and the work we've been able to do with the NCA has certainly saved at least one life. We believe some of the serious criminality we've seen in Salford over the recent years has stemmed from the threat posed by these individuals and there's no doubt the community can welcome the fact that these men won't be operating on our streets for decades to come. Guys, that's a new story coming from the North West. Let me know what you think. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.